Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today is my birthday, but I'm planning to release this tomorrow, so whatever. Um, anyhow, this is the L1, which looks like a firefly, you know, as close as you can with stock parts, at least in my opinion. This one uh, doesn't fly very well. It's. Uh, I think you have to use this rear engine just to take off, but I'm not sure. Um, but I'm just going to show you how it flies, so you can see that it's not a very good thing to be using. Um, sorry Lars, Sam, Sam, Buzz, but you're all going to die. Is it even going to take off? There we go. Yeah, see, you have to activate that rear engine just to get it to take off. And uh, now that it's in the air, it's doomed. Oh, this is cool. It's... Yeah. Trying to make it survive. Holy crap, I might actually make it survive. Awesome if I actually made this thing survive. This thing's never survived. Okay. D. What? I can't deactivate it? Oh. Uh, I think I just lost those. Let's see if we can get it to land. See, it has to be going at a very high speed. This thing's probably gonna blow up. Lars, get out! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Switch vehicle! Switch vehicle! Oh! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Hey! They survived! Lars probably died on impact. He was probably that puff of smoke in the distance. Ooh, explosions. I'm sorry, Lars. I tried to save you. Instead, you blew up. Let's actually see if he's alive. Oh no, it, I just saw him in the log. He's dead. Then there were a couple failed re-attempts. Then we have the L4, which flies a little better, but this doesn't look as much like a Firefly class. So I, so I started using phantom parts on the L1. We have the L5. As you can see, there's parts embedded in it, so this actually flies pretty well. Now, the problem with this one is, well, you'll see when I go to land it. First of all, you see it takes off at a pretty low speed. And once you're in the air, you can cut the throttle back and it still flies pretty well. And as you can see, it's pretty maneuverable. You just hold the F, you know, hold F to temporarily deactivate SAS to bring it around. Now what's cool about this one is that it can almost land unpowered. Um, let me show you that. So basically, this actually flies a lot like the... Uh, <coughs> God damn noise in this stupid crappy ass mic. Anyhow, um, you can see there's a lot of debris. I really need to clean that up. Um, but the landing sequence for it is a lot like the uh, the battle hog, where you keep it level, and then uh, when you get down to about 200 meters, when you're on these above these lowlands areas, you pull up to descend a bit slower. And uh, the only problem with this one, you'll see when I actually touch down, what it likes to do.
An another minor difference between this and the Battle Hog is with the landing, because you might accidentally rip off the tail end. The idea is to get it descending as slowly as you can, and then just before touchdown, tap it forward um, so that it lands on the wheels which I messed up. Now the problem with this one I've always had is whenever I... well, this time it's going remarkably... okay, there we go. Yeah. The problem with this thing is it hits uh, basically an imaginary bump, you know, a glitch in the physics engine since the ground is completely smooth. But it hits a bump and it literally goes to pieces. Um, so that's the problem with this one. And that's what most of these bigger chunks of debris are. Then we move on to the L6, which is basically the same design, but with the engines pointing up, like, you know, vertical takeoff and landing. Now, the two biggest problems with this one, one you can see right here, the engines are notoriously low. And the other thing is more of my own problem, that I'm just a bad pilot. But, um, but, as you see, it can just lift off with those, and I think it could land with them too, but... The problem is the engines, like I said, the engines, uh, the engines just, uh, break up. Let's see if I can stop this thing. Hey, I stopped it without the rest of it blowing up. So to try to solve that problem, I went to the next design, the L7, which uses these, uh, what do you call them? Um, I can't think what to call them right now. Well, basically, they're the decouplers that came with the planes in version 0.15, whatever you call those. Um, I'm going to try to do something very bad and different this time from every other time I've done this. Which is I'm just going to try and get altitude and a bit of speed. Wow. As you can see, they uh, go further and further in. Oh! Well, it's a good thing I ditched them. But, um. Now I'm flying with this thing's rocket going very slowly. I'm gonna see if I can land it. Rockets. This thing's very rolly all of a sudden. But yeah, the standard landing pattern. And this is probably just, I don't know, something we'll have to deal with. And it's up to a better pilot to land this um, because it can only land on completely flat ground. It can't hit any bumps without going to pieces. Uh, so maybe that's just for a better pilot to do this, and I've just happened to design something that requires a good pilot. Um, or maybe I should be using damned robotics or whatever to have rotating engines or something, I don't know. I try to make things with stuff parts, because if you can make some awesome stuff with stuff parts, and then, you know, it's all stock, so it's awesome. not descending fast enough. Like I said, you try to keep the descent as slow as possible and then drop it at the last second. And, um, so that's what I'm trying to do. 
I suck. So if anyone has any ideas on how to further improve this... Oh, I'm on the ground. Now, I'm not going to hit the brakes because I know if I do, it's going to break. And it already almost broke just now from hitting bumps. I suppose it could be considered an improvement if I made something that actually landed this time, right? Even if it landed without wings. Excuse me, sorry for the coughing, but I'm still sick. Anyhow, there you go. Um, I, need, I need help with this design to make it better. Preferably, I'd, I'd like to see someone make a completely user-friendly version, just make it. Don't give me credit or anything. I don't deserve credit. No, but someone make something like this and make it awesome. And yeah. Okay, so, in case you were wondering how I made this work, because if you've been trying this like I have, the first thing you'll notice is that this can't be attached down there at all in any way. Now one version, of the, the one that that's based off of actually, has a very slightly off-centered wing piece right here that's like perfectly positioned. It's very hard to get it there. You basically have to do this and then like move it around all over until it gets into the right spot. Another way that works that I've noticed, whenever you're trying to connect parts that normally don't want to connect, I've noticed this tends to help. You put one of these, like that, and then you try to attach it, not to the piece you just added, but to the piece you added it to that a moment ago it wouldn't connect to. Like see, a moment ago you couldn't put one of these under, you know, directly attach that at all. Now you can, and you can remove that piece, and as you see it's attached to that one. So that's a little handy little trick I've been using to get parts to attach that normally won't attach. So, yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching, help me design a firefight class, or design your own, or whatever. Um, the crappiest piece of crappy crap ever. Crap of the crap crap. Okay, bye.